Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is our NBA video for December 27th, Monday, December 27th to be exact. If you look at this DraftKings point guard position, or point guard slash shooting guard position, as everything is dual eligibility now. What do you see in front of you? Everybody's out. This is what we're dealing with and it's not, you know, it's until something drastic happens. This is how the slate is always going to look. All your point guards, all your stars are out. Shooting guard, not much difference. Like I said, dual eligibility. Your top three small forwards are out. Your power forwards are out. Your centers are out. It's crazy. Everything, everything, all your lineups should be stars and scrubs. If your lineups aren't um, value from skeleton teams, and some spend ups or some mid rangers in, in good spots, then you lost. That's how you gotta play this game. You gotta adapt with what's given to us. For example, tonight or last night, you should have played some type of value from Toronto, Detroit, and then um Jokic and B something like that. I think the, the 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 value you needed from Toronto, if I'm not mistaken, was Watanabe and um and Wilson. The thing with Wilson was that he was so new. I didn't know how many minutes he was gonna get, but Nick Nurse just hates Boucher so much that in a game where he could have played him 40 minutes, he played him 28. I knew he wasn't getting getting more than 28 anyway. But, whatever, I don't really, when I do roster Boucher, I don't really expect much out of him, because I know, I know what's about to happen, but, um, I had a pretty decent lineup on FanDuel, I just happened to have Brandon Ingram, who I thought was in a smash spot, but, things happen, nothing to really, nothing to really cry about, I did okay in football, I did, I did okay I did okay in the showdown. I did okay in football in the main slate. So you can't win them all. I think I can win them all, but you really can't win them all. But somewhat on productive day, so I'm not, you know, nothing to cry about. I hope Brandon Ingram gets better. So, all right, boys and girls, we're gonna start with DraftKings. We're gonna start with what seems to be point guard. It's, just, it's only a seven game slate, but you know, all the injuries and all the people out made this real turbulent, but it is what it is. Um, at least we have games to bet on during this match. It could be a lot worse, so let's appreciate what we have. All right, let's go. Harden won the Harden with no direct is always in play. 11 2 might be a little bit too cheap. You play him, period. Um, Lillard against Dallas, decent spot. If it's his abdomen again, personal. No, it's personal. All right, so he's not hurt. He's all right. So Lillard, Lillard's in play. LaMelo against Houston's in play, absolutely. John Morant, let's see how many minutes he played last night. 30, so he, he's playing around 30 minutes. You're paying 88 for him. You want to hear that his minutes restriction is off and he can play as much as, as he wants. So I'd stick to everybody else before I pay 88 for John. He only gets me 30 minutes. Booker's fine at 81. You know what you're going to get. Chris Paul is 79. His price came down to Booker. Booker's back. 77 against Portland is not bad for Brunson. Patty Mills, everybody's gonna play Patty Mills because he had a game and hey, I don't know if he's gonna pay this price off seventy four hundred. 
He's going to need about he need about 40 fantasy points. Um, Derek White, did he play today? I hope he did. I didn't play him. 16 minutes against Detroit. 16 minutes. 26 fantasy points. 16 minutes. You know, I had a feeling something weird was going to happen with him. So I ended up switching him out my lineup, but wow, that's amazing. 16 minutes in a smash mark with, with no Murray. That's the NBA for you now. It's never what you think it is. Wow. Conley, whatever. Listen. San Antonio's not um, blowing out Utah, so Derek White should get his four minutes. Marcus Smart, he's all right. Rose, Rose is good again. Rose looks. I'm looking for him to have a big game since he's come back. Let's see if he, maybe he had it already. Nah. 35, 32. Last two last two games. He's still taking a hell of a lot of shots. He's gonna play. 6,000, he's in play. He's in play. Um, Bledsoe's in play. Man's in play. Clark, Clarkson's in play. Cause I think... I think um, Mitchell is out. Clarkson's in play. Kobe White some play. Maybe taking over the um, Lonzo and the Alex Caruso role. Um, Frankie here. I won't play. Even though he's been playing like 40 minutes. Not for me. I think that's going to be on this side. Because of the, what's happening in the NBA. I'm going a little bit deeper into the garbage. But. Um, some of these people are in play. Like, Frankie's in play if Finney Smith is out and um, Porzingis is out. If those two are in, you don't play Frank. You're only playing when you, like, absolute emergency. Lavina's 9 6. That's all right. Lamelo's okay. Smash spot. Jalen Brown seems to be back. Smash spot against Minnesota, but it's kind of tough to pay that for, with, with Tatum. Anthony Edwards might be back if he is. They'll need him. Brunson. Yup. Yup. Beasley. Could be in play. Watch starting lineups. Um. Cam Reddish price went up. Mikhail Bridges 5,000. Last man in. I guess it ain't the end of the world. Joe Ingles is in play. No, no Mitchell. You play. You play Joe Ingles. What's his name? Brandon. Brandon in Boston. If he starts, he's in play. I think that's it down there. Tatum. And Brown take away from each other as far as fantasy, as far as real life basketball. Those two with Bobby Williams and the right pieces should be an unstoppable force, but they're not. But for fantasy, you're never going to get what you need out of them when they're both playing. They both demand the ball, they both high usage, they both high fantasy point players. And they're both. Um, the two-way play. <clears throat> Sorry. Give me some water. Hold on. One second. Uno momento. Yeah, so. As I was saying. Tatum takes away from Brown and Brown takes away from Tatum, so. Kind of hard to play them. 
kind of like what's happening with Levine and DeRozan, something like that, but you got to pick your spots when the price is right. The same with Chicago, their price have been a lot lower than um, Tatum and Brown, so you were able to play, pay, pay them, play them, but you can't pay 10 for for Tatum and expect them to hit value because Brown is going to get his. That's my point. No, pa- no, no, Lillard. You can play Powell, Gordon Hayward. I guess if you're feeling froggy, you can play Hayward. I don't like playing Hayward and um and Bridges or Hayward and Rosier. I like playing Miles and Rosier or Miles and Ball. I look at Miles as like a power forward. I look at Hayward as like a small forward. So that's how I'm looking at it, but um, you could you could mix and match. You never know. You can mix and match, especially against Houston. If Houston keeps this game close, you're gonna want two or three of these um Charlotte guys, and then maybe Wood. I don't know if he's playing. We got to see who's playing, but um, I don't know. If Kevin Porter's not playing. They may not be able to keep it close. So probably just wishful thinking. Oubre Jr. 6100. No, thank you. Smith, um, Dorian Finney is playing, so that Frank Nikilina stuff, you can get that out of here. Eric Gordon, I guess, last man in. McDaniels. He's not a bad player, but he doesn't shoot. I don't like playing players that don't shoot. Oh, I guess he is shooting. He went from 9, 6, 8, 8 to 18. See what I'm saying? I knew what I was talking about, but my man had 18 shots. Wow. That's what happens when you have no choice. So listen, look, wait for the wait to see the roster tomorrow. See how it was looking. And, um... If they're still without, if they're still without bodies, McDaniel starts. You can play him. You gotta watch. You gotta watch news though. You can't just be playing players to play him. Um, I don't want nothing down here. Don't want anything down here. Here's another one, Josh Christopher. He gets inserted into the starting lineup and does nothing. Six shots, five shots, eight shots. I'm good, bro. Rudy Gay gets bumped up with no Mitchell off the bench. So Rudy Gay is in play. Last man in, 3,400. Okay, went through all this already. Porzingis. Porzingis at 8600 is a good price and a good spot. I just don't trust him. So, have fun with him. Horford is back. You definitely can't play anyone from Boston. Horford is back. Um, Jackson Jr. had a good game today. He's, I don't trust him either, but he had a good game today. He's in play. Um, Kelvin Johnson is always in play. I just don't trust him. Chase on Tate is fine. Bogdan, no, Bojan. Bojan should be fine with no Mitchell. This game should be a little bit closer with no Mitchell. But Donovan should have himself a game. Griffin, if he starts, probably not even his. He hasn't been doing that great. 32, 31, 38, and 4. Royce O'Neal. Royce O'Neal's alright. Starting power forward, 3,800. Alright, that's it for now. I'm not like really 
dig into the bottom of the barrel because tomorrow we're going to get a whole bunch of people on protocols and everything that we just went through is going to be for no reason. So we're just going to stick to the core and then worry about what we need to worry about later. Go Bears in play. Christian Woods in play. Aiton's in play at 77. Bobby Williams is not in play. Jacob Pardo's in play. Shane Goon is not in play. I know he comes off the bench and does his thing, but with the way he's priced, he needs to be playing like high 20s in minutes. Eight shots, five shots, six shots. Hang in the door for me. Sorry. Some of you think St. Goon is good, but that's only because of the peripherals. He's not a correct play. He's not getting enough minutes to be a correct play at the price he's paying. You're paying 5400 for him. That means you need like 30 fantasy points, and you're, and you're not getting that on points. You're getting that on peripherals. What happens if he doesn't have two steals and two blocks in the game? You're not going to hit value. That's what I'm saying. He's not the correct play. Zubak is a better play. He starts. He's going to get, you know, getting high, tw high 20s in minutes. That's what you're looking for for that price point. Claxton. Is Claxton getting heavy minutes? 23, 26, 22, and 32. I getting a lot of shots, I'll tell you that. He's a lot better with Harden there, though. Harden is there. I, I, I still wouldn't play him at 4,900, though. I'd rather play Steven Adams. and 33 fantasy points. Listen, to be honest with you, Steven Adams is as low as we're going to go right now with the information that we have. When we get more information tomorrow, we'll deal with it, but we're not going to go dumpster diving right now. Let's pick our team and let's go about our day. Let's pick up our, um, our core five. Harden looks good. A shooting guard. What is this saying by Anthony Edwards? Alright, until we, he's questionable. Until we know for sure what he's doing, we're gonna put Beasley in. Because Beasley loves to shoot. No Cat, no Russell, it's Beasley. Beasley loves to shoot. And that's why McDaniels had all them shots. Um, Powell. You see something? Beasley is only shooting guard eligible. That's fine. Small forward, no Hayward. I mean, no Brooks. Where is. Okay, that's fine. You know, I want exposure to Charlotte. Much of, mm, while Miles is out. Okay, cool. I know what needs to be done. Gordon Hayward, let's go. I have an excuse to play Gordon Hayward now. At some point, I'm going to need some value. Tate. McDaniel, McDaniels. And I get to play McDaniels. Look at that. 
and we have we have 52.75 left. Uh, I really would like to bring him back with Christian Wood. Well, how much money would that leave me with? Let's see. Well, I'm bad. So we have um, Christian Wood, Hayward, McDaniel's, and Beasley. So you have no choice. I would love to get somebody coming back from Boston, but nobody makes sense. Um, not going to play Marcus Smart with everybody healthy. So I'm going to leave you here for now. And then once we get more value, we'll deal with it. Alright, listen, if you're new here, no speech. Just subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we drop these NBA videos, which is every day. Thumbs up the video, let YouTube know you appreciate me trying to help you with money. And that's all I ask. Let's continue with FanDuel. So we're going to go back to Harden. We're going to go to Beasley. We're going to go to Hayward. Put Christian with that power forward. And the Roach is at a good price. Capella. I have to play one of these guys. Capella. Or Roach. Let's play Capella. He's gonna be he's gonna be more needed and we still have about five thousand dollars left each spot. Capella, Christian Wood, Haywood, Willie Beasley, James Harden. Alright, I know this is the stop when most of you stop watching, so I'll just say this. Um it is the end of the month, so I wanna advise you to um pay for Patreon right now if you needed any extra help, but I will offer a day pass or a week pass if you need some type of help, if you need um I know a lot of people are on holiday now, so they're home, they could watch, they could um, pay attention to starting lineups and news, so some of you may not need help, but if some of you do still need help with lineups, or you want to play exactly, exactly what I'm playing, I will provide those in day pass and a weekly pass, and just whatever you need, just DM me on Twitter or Instagram, tell me exactly what you need, and then we'll work it out, football, basketball, baseball, whatever. Frisbee tossing, volleyball, duck hunt, it doesn't matter. Whatever you need help with, I have the projections for it. I can help you. Um, NBA, NFL, um, DraftKings, FanDuel, SuperDraft, Yahoo, it doesn't matter. Just holler at me and we'll get it done. Let's, let's, let's go to SuperDraft. Super draft. Um, what are we doing here for super draft? Right, let me see something. Let me see if my predictions are ready for super draft. Or maybe it's too early. Let's see. Yep, we're in luck. All right, boys and girls. So, all right. So, if you guys are gonna use, if you guys are gonna use some of my picks, make sure you like the video. I'm about to give you some straight fire right now. So at guard, you playing no well. Had a two month multiplier. Should I give you another guard? I'll give you another guard. Give 
Now, this is all as long as Anthony Edwards is out. If Anthony Edwards is back in, this all goes out the window. And I'll give you a forward. Looks like um, they want to go back to Cam Ryder, shut on 1.6. All right, so these are going to be your three super draft plays of the day. Trailer Noel, Lee Beasley, Cam Reddish. Two multiplier, 1.65 and a 1.6. Cam Reddish should be um, a lock, should be locked in. Not a lock, but locked in. Nothing should be able to move him from here. But if um, Anthony Edwards plays, you want to take these guys out. If you can make your lineup on your own, that's great. If you need, if you want to play exactly what I'm playing, then DM me. We'll discuss it. Um, Yahoo. Let me see if projectors are ready. Um, yes, yes, they are. Okay, so drawing root of one. Three with a run of wire. Not right now. Just trying to get a little bit of projections and y'all doing everything but projections um monday all right so let's see here point guard we'll pick up Point guard, Noel again. For ten dollars, I'll give you regular guard. We'll do. Conley with no um, Mitchell, and then I'll do a power forward for you. And power forward, we're doing. So there you go. We got three, um, three of my best plays for Super Draft and three of my best play, plays for Yahoo. If you're playing Yahoo, if you appreciate um, my three plays, thumbs up the video. Let Yahoo know you appreciate it. That helps me. Listen, that's the end of this video. Thank you for being here. Seven game slate. It's going to be a shit show again today, but it is what it is. At least we are somewhat prepared. We, you know, we have an idea what we're doing. We have an idea. We have some type of plan. And when things down, we still have our core. If Russell comes back, you take out Beasley, you take out McDaniels, you try again. I like Hayward because I like this game. I like Hayward because Miles Bridges is not playing. And obviously, you got to love Harden with no Durant. If you don't like Harden without Durant, you shouldn't be playing NBA DFS. Listen, hope you guys had a productive day. 
I know some of y'all had a profitable day. You already let me know. That's what I love to hear. Um, if I have a good day and you have a great day, I'm happy. If I have a bad game, a bad day, and you guys want money, I'm still happy. Because that's, that's, that's the point. That's why I'm here. To help you guys see see DFS through, through my vision. Your vision too, but with my vision also. So you could cut through the BS and win money on a, what's that word I'm looking for? On a consistent basis. But yeah, let me get out of here. Um, have a good day. Anything you need, throw it in the comments. I'll throw it in the chat. Any questions, any comments. If you need any extensive help, DM me. We'll talk about it. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good day. Ciao.